Hello, everybody. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast. And we're coming to you live from the Galactic Championship, the Battle of Exegol. Here, this is our finale event of 2022. We've gone through five qualifiers, hundreds of players, and have brought you now the best of the best here in round one we have andre v versus justin williamson today i'm joined by my amazing and good friends william haywood hello everyone and james ritter hello people i am excited to be here this is gonna be a good day this is gonna be a good day quick thing james when you get a second can you turn off the turn counter on your uh on your overlay Thank okay you, yeah i shouldn't see it at the bottom so yeah i got you i got you i'll fix that um but for everybody out there in the in the multiverse want to say welcome we're super excited to be here we're going to break down these lists as a reminder today our games are brought to you by our amazing patrons we would not be able to put on this series without you guys and in the our next series coming up after this is going to be the Gold Squadron Flight Club League. So watch out for information on that. All right, Will, it is time for you to break down those lists. And everybody at home, it is time for you to choose your champion. All right, we're starting with your bet one all here, uh, Andre. Don't, don't correct me on that, Andre. Yeah, Andre, Andre. yeah. Okay. Uh, now, do, now, do the, now do the last name. Vonasu. <laughs> Vonasu. No. Look. <laughs> no. Anyways. This is Andre a here. Valiant effort. <laughs> um, don't tease me. Uh, <laughs> anyways. Find the Galactic Empire here with the one and the only Darth Vader. Uh, this is Ty X1 Vader. Uh, so he can use his force to perform multiple actions uh so after you perform an action you spend his force take a second action loves target locks because of his advanced targeting computer allowing him free crits and a third dice when he rolls this one has brilliant evasion for some force extra uh force modifying on defense he's got shattering shots so he can spend his force on offense to add an extra eyeball result debris gambit Giving him access to the an evade token fire control system so he does not have to spend his lock to reroll a single dice and shield upgrade, getting him up to six total health. Uh, just a beast out there, a brawler. Uh, no boost on him, though. No uh, so he's going to feel a little slow, uh, but between the debris gamber and shattering shot, uh, he's going to feel right at home amongst the obstacles. Uh, supporting him in that Reaper right next to him is his master, of course, Emperor Palpatine on board Vizier. Vizier can coordinate if they do their ailerons. We do have controlled ailerons now, so they do not have to do their boost. Uh, and uh, it is, uh, no, well, no longer required, I guess. I guess that's redundant. Anyways. Emperor Palpatine can spend that single force charge on any dice roll uh, throughout the entire ships here. What a support piece for uh, the Empire uh, and the mini swarm we have up there at the top of the board uh, is four TIE fighters led by Aiden Versio. Aiden Versio can prevent damage from... Uh, being applied to a TIE Fighter at range 0-1. to one. Uh, It is a single-use charge, uh, but a very powerful ability. She's utilizing Elusive Discipline to get some target locks when a ship goes down. And Tractor Beam as well to try to soften up some of these targets. Uh, her friends, of course, are Jingo Jingo Wampa. Uh, the Jingoist can strain or deplete ships when they engage uh those ships do need to be range zero to one in their front arc these are brought contraband cybernetics so they can still take actions even while stressed great for k-turns or flying through a debris unexpectedly and then of course it's wampum time wampa themselves 
Uh, black 11. If you don't shoot Wampa, uh, they're going to roll an additional attack dice against you, what we call Wampum Time. It uh, has elusive for some defensive protection as well. So it's a pretty traditional list here for the Empire, utilizing both a high initiative ace and Darth Vader. I uh, got the Palpatine support shuttle and then uh, the mini swarm of TIE fighters. All uh, it can be difficult to deal with. Uh, we'll see how the opponent reacts to that. And so let's take a look at the other list. This is Justin Williamson. Flying the Galactic Republic. Uh, they have brought an I-5 only list. Starting at the top of the overlay, we have Knack. Uh, Knack basically has a blank ability, so we won't even worry about that. Uh, the main thing uh, about Knack is its versatile frame, where you can do a white boost uh, as your action if you reveal a blue maneuver. Uh, so that's great. A little bit of uh, extra speed for them when they're doing those blue maneuvers. It has plasma and torpedoes for those long range three dice attacks. Though it does require a target lock to fire. Ooh, and looks like we have some crates being picked up already uh, during this round two activation. Uh, so we'll finish up these lists and see how combat goes. Uh, the next ship uh, down there from the top of the overlay is Contrail. Contrail can chains and enemies dice if the bearing of their revealed maneuvers are the same. Most of the time you see this frequently happen when Contrail does a straight maneuver, and then the other ship also does a straight maneuver and kind of a head-on uh, collision there, or collision course, rather. Uh, and you can then change a eyeball to a blank result. In addition, it has a crack shot for eliminating evade results. Uh, R4P44, I thought this was the pattern I analyzed to draw it at first, but no. Uh, this says, after you fully execute a red maneuver, if there's an enemy ship in your bullseye, gain one calculate. Okay, so a little bit of a uh, modifier when you wouldn't normally have one droid. And proxy mines, uh, those big old death pizzas. Do not let this contrail uh, position so he can drop those proxy mines on you out of the rear. Uh, keep moving on to Oddball in the Y Wing. Well, actually, oh, Nax is picking up the lock, hasn't fired it yet. Oddball in the Y Wing, just four points, but still I 5 and eight overall health. Can get free target locks when they do red maneuvers and red actions. Has uh, belly run, ion cannon, turret, 7th fleet gunner, and R4 astromech to get some extra stress clearing maneuvers. Really necessary on these Y-Wings as they traditionally only have one forward and two forward for their stress clearing maneuvers. Uh, but is able to bring that 7th fleet gunner to help out with these Jedi, giving them an extra dice. Uh, the, the Jedis are utilizing the calibrated laser targeting. The, uh, Plo is one of the I-5s here, able to throw his green tokens over to friendly ships at the start of engagement, or even take an orange token away from them and apply it to Plo. So it could even pull off that uh, weapons disabled from the 7th Fleet Gunner recharge. Very interesting has a chopper so we could be seeing some red evades being thrown down as well could even throw those red evades with plo Koon. a uh, great way to flex being both a high initiative double reposition ace mm -hmm. but also be a support ship when needed my favorite kind of ship uh plus if you uh, spend both those charges on chopper is chopper's actually going to go erratic and you can actually then start handing out jams when you activate uh super cool uh, such, such potential on that Plo Koon. Uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi is the last ship in the list here. Another calibrated laser targeting ship. Uh, has the ability to uh, basically spend his force as full focus tokens. At our friendly ship range 0 to 2 spends a focus token. You may spend one force charge. If you do, that ship gains one focus token. Has elusive and R2-D2. R2-D2 allows... 
the Obi-Wan, uh, after they f activate, that's all of your activations, which means your maneuvers and your actions and all that such, you can take a deplete token to repair a damage card, recover a shield, or remove a device. Uh, does not have Howland to pull off that deplete, unfortunately. Uh, but man, when you really need shields, R2-D2's there uh, to provide them. So let's see, we were measuring some range here. Did Plo end up throwing that token to Knack then? It looks like it. And here... Uh, so Knack has Focus Lock. But we're going to start with Darth Vader, of course, Dion. That's right. We're going to get so going. This is a range 2, barely obstructed. Going from Darth Vader into Obi-Wan Kenobi. Does have that target lock out there and a focus. I mean, the expected result here is going to be three hits, likely after spending a force Ooh. here. She's going to shatter shot that and add a force result. Oh, there we go. So, yeah, uh, that adds in the focus. So, it's going to end up being three hits and a crit. Yeah, I'm not sure why Obi went so aggressive here without a focus. Um, yeah, he's in five, six arcs or so. Well, we'll see if he ends up paying for it. Four agility dice and ends up Ooh. taking three hit hit crit. Could actually go down. Uses elusive and does end up getting a result. Hit crit. Shield down. Crit directly to the hole. What do we got here? It is disabled power regulator. Disabled power regulator. Well, not going very far. Not going very far at all. And that's going to end up taking an ion token the following, or this turn actually, when it engages. It also does end up breaking that lock on Darth Vader when that ion goes. So I'm not sure how much no, it's going to help. No, nope. it's, it's the it's, other way. Yeah, it's Obi's locks you break. Obi's locks. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. It's Obi Wan's lock on Vizier. Had that backwards. Well, here we go. This is the Z95 taking its shot. Doesn't get any results, but is going to go ahead and target lock. Knack's going to end up with three hit hit crit. Looking at Vizier. Vizier does have the energy, uh, the force there to end up spending. And does okay. uh, still takes two shields. Uh, does he not? Is he is he getting a range bonus from that? No, it's did from he not? A missile. It's right, right, but how did he roll? How did he roll two dice then? It certainly is not obstructed. Uh, it's on that arc again. Let me take a look. Oh uh, yeah, not obstructed. Oh. So it's not so obstructed. I, I yeah, thought I saw a, I thought I saw a blue line. Uh, as an on tabletop simulator, a blue line is an obstructed shot. A pink line is a bullseye attack, uh, or that the defender would be in your bullseye. Yellow is obstructed, and when it shows red, that's obstructed and bullseye. All right, so. We're rolling that single die here. Ooh, and it's a blank this time. Big right. change in damage there. So it gets the help force back, knocks off the shield. That's automatically from plasma torpedo. And then right. plus three after that. And the Exactly. And the difference now so is that you, be... end, you end up with a critical damage, right? Otherwise, if if, uh, yeah. if you would have rolled the, the evade, the evade ends up getting canceled out first for plasma torpedoes. That's true. It's, uh, it's one of the penalties, I guess. I'm not really how to describe that, but it's one of the effects of plasma for in, for indeed. Ooh, and it was a panicked pilot. No more coordinating, no more ailerons for Vizier for a couple turns. Oh, no. And gets to drop the cash. That's Big that, change of events there. That probably ends up being, you know, just just as important. Taking away those opportunity uh, for free yeah. points. I mean, I I can't tell if Oddball has Ark or not, but we could see 
a Sun's Fleet gunner calibrated laser targeting attack from Moby Wan here to clean Vizier out. Yes, range one bullseye. Will yep. we see the Sun Fleet gunner? Yeah, we there's will. the ding. All right, this is the yeet. This is the CLT yeet. Uh, so normally, seal uh, Sun Fleet gunner has a four dice restriction. A CLT adds a result. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's not, not an it's not, right. It's not a die. It's not a die as part of the pool. I think you reroll everything but that uh, that crit, right? Uh, I cards. would, I would, I would reroll everything. He's going to save one focus just to make sure the crit goes through. And here's the roll. You end up with two, three hits and a crit after spending the force. Single of A there. And here's an Ooh, opportunity yeah. to use Palpatine if you'd like. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's going to need it or else he is yeah. destroyed. We'll, we'll wait with bated breath to see if that crit is a direct can. Was your oh, wait a second. It? No, Obi-Wan Obi -Wan needs to be ionized. Doesn't have a target lock. Right? Uh, ooh, let me read that. Yes, yep. indeed. Oh, oh, Stop. Man. All right, we'll, re we'll reset the clock one more time. <laughs> it's okay. We're shaking off the rust. Yep. All right, it's first engagement. It'll happen. Uh, so, yes, would end up going back to crit. I blank blank and then the added eyeball result. Yep. So yeah, the original roll was crit eye and then another eye. Crit focus focus is what we'll have. Uh, yeah, those new Ion rules are brutal. Yeah, but that's it's such an easy trigger to miss. Uh, yeah, I've been trying to shoot a lot of high initiative um, <clears throat> Ion weapons as like a pseudo jam. All right, well, the crit is still going to go through, and it was a direct hit. That's going to put Vizier down to just two hull remaining. Obi-Wan's going to keep one force here to try to stay alive this round. Uh, we'll see if Oddball, Oddball is the one who's got to take down Vizier with his primary. Two on two, no mods either way. And, and only gets the one, one result. One evade there. So that, that disabled power regular. So huge from Vader's attack. Yeah. Uh, crits win games, in my opinion. Oh, yeah. Uh, so it looks like we have... The Empire's back, right? Iden time? So Iden yep. has a range three shot. Does she have a secondary weapon? She has that tractor oh, yeah. beam. She's shooting tractor. Going to try to pull Obi-Wan closer to the other TIE fighters. Uh, if you can pull it into range one of a Jingoist, might be too far here. But if you can pull it into range one of a Jingoist, you get tractored and strained. How would you like to roll no agility? I would not like that, Dion. Or I will. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's basically. Remember auto blasters? Well, these are jingo blasters. Right. <laughs> these are jingo blasters. Soon going up to four points, hopefully. Mm, <laughs> out. <laughs> what if they have like rockets though? Well, what if you could? What if you could jingo somebody and then procket them? Sad. I'm um, sure. Why not? Four points for that. All right, so here we go. Tractor beam shot. Trail mix, one of each. 
Spends for two. Okay. Uh, can Obi avoid this? Uh, needs one natural here. He's only got a single force. Yeah, I would have liked to see him take the the focus action, but went went high aggro here, trying to kill Vizier. Oh, oh, plenty, plenty of squiggles. Plenty of squiggles. <laughs> oh yeah, Obi Wan's just gonna squiggle out of this, right? Right. Oh yeah. Uh, well, he gets squiggled out of this turn, but next turn he's gonna be in no world if he <laughs> with, with that ion. Yeah. Uh, it sh could could regen a shield or uh, gonna have uh, to be honest with you. And here comes what do, the, what do you do here? the jingoist at range two, two dice. Uh, I think this. I think the red jingo is at range three. I think you just keep keep going into Obi Wan, right? Yeah. You, don't, you don't worry about contrail. One hit. Oh yeah. Yeah, make him spend his force. Maybe you could. Maybe he'll just blank out. No, there's the evades coming in strong now. Easy. Now Obi Wan's like, I remember way. how to do this. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Once he's ionized, he's like, Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. It's like obstructed to control, but range two. So uh, four dice for the defender either way. Yeah, you just keep keep going into Obi Wan. Just just keep going. No, go. I but don't. Go. I don't. I don't agree with the with the target split here. Ooh, I he mean, you could put that though. crit. Yeah. The crit <laughs> could knock off Contrails. Uh, cash. Oof. Right. Okay. Does not. All right. So it looks like we're gonna finish the round here with Wampa. Uh, Wampa's going to get three dice. Probably, I mean, it has to go into open one. You got a chance. Oh, no, we got Vizier. Ooh, Range Vizier. one. Four dice, no uh, mind. Unfortunately, could not finish off this uh, Vizier. Mm, no. And got three hits out of that shot. Ooh. Obi Wan's going to clench. He's only got two holes remaining in a single force. Oh my oh, goodness! He's fine. He's fine. It's gonna it's gonna be up to Wampa then to put Obi Wan down. There you go, Panda Wamp Wampin time. Ooh, and underperforms there. No rerolls, just a single focus. No, we want all blanks here. Only suffering one. Honestly, this is best case scenario, right? Oh, Wampa is kicking himself for that. Couldn't get another paint on three dice to kill Obi Wan right here and now. Oh, it's unfortunate on it. <sighs> so, we're going to score some points here. Uh, who's got those caches? Not Vizier. I saw him drop uh, one. Looks like a red jingoist and uh, oddball and contrail. Okay. So Justin finishes up with two points to just one. Mm -hmm. So, Dion, let me ask you here. Yes, with the new ion rules, you can, you can steer your ship not just a one forward, but a, some one banks. Mm-hmm. Is there any advantage to going left or right with Obi-Wan? Because uh, you do have to deal with that Vader next round. So, I mean, it, it's a little bit tough. I really like Andre's positioning because he's got ships coming in from two different angles. Let's say they were coming in from one angle. There might be an advantage going towards the upcoming ships, kind of like the, the idea of staying close to the body to avoid getting punched hard. Because if you give mm -hmm. if you give the opponent space to fly their ships in behind you, so for instance, if he had, if he just does like a, a one left to the bank, uh, one bank to the left, mm -hmm. you're easily just giving Vader, you know, just his one bank and the Tie Fighters two banking, and they get you for sure. Going towards them, you at least have a chance to shorten the distance. Maybe you have range zero attacks that ends up happening that takes away some modifications. Uh, but with those Tie Fighters right there, it's 
I think going to the right is probably your best call, but at the same time, isn't uh, you're probably dead <laughs> either way. <laughs> well, I assume uh, Vizier is either going to one bank uh, or one forward to start clearing those stress. Uh, I was so he might just take up all. You might not have that any of those options if Vizier just one bank's right in front of you. Mm-hmm. So, it's going to be a tough decision here. Knack also has to deal with this debris field. Uh, no way, nobody giving out actions here on this uh, Rebel or Republic I-5's list. I was looking for a Hawk. Those end of, end of round uh, barrel rolls from Hawk. Uh, but nope. This is Knack. What is Knack's actual ability? Uh, blank. <laughs> I know, but what is it? He's he's the incautious instructor. After you yeah. are destroyed, you may choose a non friendly, non limited ship of range zero to two and assign one of your equipped talent upgrades to it. Well, he has no talent upgrades nor some non limited ships. Whoops. Yeah, I think if, if it didn't say non limited, if you could throw it to a Jedi, like mm. wow, neat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like mm. I think it would it would be a lot they, more viable, especially because he is I five. Yeah, I think with Vizag Vizago's ruling, uh, they would have to be able to equip it. Um, but I don't think that you need the open slot for it, though. So yeah, you could throw uh... you could throw out maneuver over to a Jedi or something. Like, okay. what do you, what do you mean they would have to? be able to equip it uh just like if it said like oh like clone you only yeah. you couldn't like, yeah, you couldn't sure. give dedicated to a jedi because that's clone yeah. only right right um yeah I'm, I'm down for that though well speaking uh, of friendly ships i want to talk really quickly about the iso plane initiative the ISO plan initiative, specifically those objective tokens, the f fundraiser that they're doing. Uh, as a promotion today, we are uh, actually, we have three sets of those ISO plane initiative tokens, the metal ones, that we're going to be giving away at various levels. But if you want to get a set of your own and guarantee that you can get them in your hands, uh, go ahead and type exclamation point ISO, ISO, in the chat, and you'll get the link to uh to be able to get yourself those tokens they're super awesome get them now all right and here it begins wampa turning in preparing to receive the republic the vizier in the way that one bank will not fit Nano Antonio says, when you donate, can you get more than one set if you donate more? Yeah. So just double it. If you want two, double it. I, I said on uh, on Monday on the podcast, I ordered five sets because I, I want to be able to use five Gold Squadron metal helmets. Easy. And also, of course, it's going to a good cause, so <laughs> why wouldn't I? And Knack is going to end up overlapping. It was already facing it, so had to see if you end up taking any additional damage. Does not. It takes a stress. Yeah, those those, those debris are scary. Like, they hit on hits or crits now. They sure do. All right, two straight. Oddball, keeping it simple. What uh, offensive did take weapons? The disarm um, to recover the uh, seventh fleet gunner. So oddball's out here pretending that he's not a lat. I'm not a lat. I promise. Uh, promise. I do have two arcs though. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> not a lat. Guaranteed. Uh, Guaranteed. Uh, has Tier Fund, Belly Run, Ion Cannon Turret, Seventh Fleet Gunner, and R4. So the only special weapon he has is that Ion Cannon Turret. 
Um, <laughs> but those, uh, the bear rolls uh, into locks in the bullseye, pretty spicy. So I would like to see him have some sort of torpedo. Would have really helped out against Vizier last round. Only yeah. one does end up bumping there on the ion maneuver. We'll see if he chooses to take the focus off their bumping. Yeah, you got to. You're only one. Yeah, you're going to need it. Uh, he's also going to deplete to get a shield back as well. Yeah, I was just going to ask you, what do, you, what do you think is better there, the shield or the card? Mm. The shield, yeah. Vader's putting out crits, so... True. I guess that is true, but like, I guess if it's like a really bad crit that you can't use the repair... Uh, repair one damage card. It could fix crits, that's true. Yeah, but then you... It but you need it. You need it. Yeah. yeah. You need the health. Gotcha. I guess I'm not also sure. A, Maybe, uh, like, fixing structural might be about the only thing I could see doing with R2-D2. Like, the only... Yeah. The only uh, damage, the only face-up damage card that I would see worth the being, value in, maybe yeah, maybe more value engine. than on uh, damage. Damage engine, okay, yeah. Uh, if you if you have the time, right? I guess, yeah. And that's more situational though, because if you're like, I don't, I'll be okay, <laughs> right? Depending on what well, ship it's on. If you like, yeah, you like K turn behind a bunch of enemies or something, and you really need to hard turn. I guess. I guess. <laughs> Maybe blinded. Uh, you like you come up and focus, and then take a deplete to bl fix your blinded. Uh, we just saw Vader do that one straight and just prepare the uh, the kill shot on Obi Wan. Oh yeah, uh, still has yeah. the lock from the previous round. Might not be range one though. It was gonna be close. Uh oh, cannot do that. Nope. No, he's got to do it the other way. Yeah. So, what was the mistake right, so, that was almost made there, James? So, uh, so when you, yeah. So when you have uh, Vader's ability that allows you to do extra actions, you are required to do the scenario action as your perform action step. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then. Uh, yeah. You can Vader extra actions. You mm -hmm. just need to make it be the first one in Vader right. sequence. And that's because yeah. really scenario, lot, so the scenario out. rules specifically say yes. that it can only be during yeah, your perform you, action but, step. Yeah, but you can't barrel into range and then grab it. Right, exactly. Right. That's, the, that's a big no-no. Exactly. Yeah, yeah sa same thing with, I, I guess, with auto thrusters, but like auto thrusters is very specific. Like You can auto thrusters off of a scenario action right but that would only be scramble because if you grab the toe you couldn't boost oh ho, 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 can't boost. got him yeah i guess those are the only scenario actions is that claim so <laughs> mm -hmm. uh yeah and we did see plo there pull the disarm off of oddball great use there of that ability and here comes Vader. It's going to be range two into OB-1, Kenobi. Trial mix, uh, one of each. Fire control mm -hmm. system is online here. Oh, Does have it. That's right. Roll them. Yep. Uh, yeah, you, got a, you got a full spend here. Send it. Yep. Oh, yeah. That's three. All right, everyone. You're not, you're not any, really, really, any real danger as, uh, as Vader here. No. You need one, one blank, blank. Obi-Wan. And there it is. There. Yep, uh, so that just pings the shield lives. as predicted. Uh, crit hits the shield. And Obi-Wan gets to fire his attack into Vizier here. R2-D2 is always... All the other... Sorry, Dion. What was it? I was going to say, R2-D2, always been the hero. Always. <laughs> always. The true been. hero. This is going to be a real sad pew here. Uh, yeah. Range zero into Vizier. Can't even mod it. Can't even mod it. Uh, so that's going to come down to Oddball's range one primary with a yeah. focus token to be able to do two damage into this one health ship. So all, all Oddball needs is just all paint. All paint. Guarantees it. Uh, uh, Contrail. Contrail's out there. Contrail could do it. Yeah. Well, who Did Contrail target lock somebody? Uh, yeah. Well, he target locked. 
Ooh, uh, the, yellow. The <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I would have I mean, talked like Wampa, but I don't want no one yeah. whopping me. Womp, womp, wampin' time is the serious issue. Oh, Here's boy. our range one shot. Only a single hit. And that's going to go through. Ugh, now you almost have to shoot Contrail into Vizier, right? Yep. Yeah. I mean, it's four points. It's the most expensive ship out there outside of Vader, so just take it. Take what you can get. Uh, yeah, I think you have to. Take that ship off the board. Hasn't used Palp yet, right? You can, you yeah. can stop Palp at I-5 here. Ooh, he's bumping it up. Don't fleet gunner charge for three dice. No, he doesn't have any mods, though, unfortunately. This, this no is mods. true. More, more dice is a mod, in my opinion. It is. That's, it's, that's <laughs> like a, it's like a reroll. Yeah. Yeah, free, free Predator, and it could just give you more damage. Oh, uh, no. Oh, the nothing. worst. One Need hit, double focus. Needed to just take the focus. Yep. Contra does have Crack Shot and Besh. So, like, the target lock... The ship range one, yeah, where like in, in your bullseye, it is the right call, but man, did not work out. Oh, uh, so now the ties get to retaliate. Yeah, yes, I mean, they're going to be yes, going that all in all the chat. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little, it's a little late. <laughs> no, it's it's like uh, it's the the it's like a really ironic joke. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know how funny it is, but it's uh pretty, pretty oh, funny. Oh, that, that's that's three hits from Aiden. That's going to yeah, be a the tractor. tractor beam. Uh, so he's going to try to tractor oddball onto the debris. Uh, you can't do that. These things are not allowed. Wait, stop. Can't. Nope, they recently changed that in uh, the... Actually, that's been all year. Yeah, that's been a while. That's, that's, that's old now. That's old news. Yeah, you can definitely do it that way. <laughs> yeah, you can definitely. Yeah, uh, that's uh, one of those. Uh, what do I want to say? Um, negative play experiences is how I would describe that. Is moving. Um, yeah, moving a ship who hasn't shot yet onto an obstacle like a rock yeah. or something. And now they can't shoot. Right, or a tractor beaming a ship onto an obstacle so it hits it coming off of it as well. So now yep. they're double penalized, and they didn't have a response for it, basically. That's mostly tugboats um, who were doing those shenanigans. But yep. They're, uh, they're outcast now to, uh, to extended land. So Yes, indeed. Uh, quick shout-out here. Shout-out to Crydove. Dropping 10 subs in the chat. Thank you so much. Getting us to 34 subs for the weekend. Crydove, if you were flying this weekend, what would you be flying? You got a, uh, you're maybe a ship or pilot? You you're want to win the whole thing. Let us know. All right. The Jingoist uh. starting to put some work into Kenobi. One hit. Yeah, he did lose his focus token there from the Jingoist ability, but gets the interesting, the interesting choice. Well, I mean, the Jingoist rolls all paint, and you only have two dice. You're just done. Yeah. At least with the force and three agility, you can get oh, through the day. Barely range one on that second Jingoist. Oh boy. Here we go. Oh, Crydub's flying. All right, well, good luck to you this weekend. Two hits here for Kenobi. Uh, just needs two paint. Or actually, yeah, evade needs, and a paint. Needs yeah. evade eyeball. Let's go. Not oh. today. Oh. Only Brilliant has a single evader. force. Really? <laughs> oh. No. Yeah. And that's going to be the end of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh, gives up five points there from the Jinguist attacks. 
Uh, wow. Narcast Focus, he, he had to... It, it was a tough decision mm -hmm. uh, between taking the strain and keeping your focus. But if you only have two attack dice, what is that focus? Or two defense dice? The focus doesn't mean as much, does it? No. And if you roll three paint, you just die. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, Jinguist. Well, here comes our next attack. Vizier, range one into the tractor beamed oddball. So this is just straight damage. And that crit has to go, has to turn down. There's no critical damage out there. But yeah. uh, that's going to be. For plated hull. That's right. So that will be four damage, three hits, uh, three shields, and a hit. Oof. Uh, that does prevent the cash from being deployed as well. Mm -hmm. Jettisoned, if you will. Yeah, those Y-Wings, Republic Y-Wings, good holders of uh, of salvage because yeah. of that ability. Yes, uh, yeah, remember, it does not prevent someone from changing something to a crit. Very yeah, true. Like Darth Vader. Or, or rolling multiple crits. crits. Yeah. Th that, that'll do it. Hit crit crit. So gonna be dropping uh dropping that cash for sure. And taking one uh, crit, yeah. thus disabling so the hit, plated hull. Hit crit. And if it's a double, nope, it's a loose stabilizer. You gotta go straight, Oof. son. Ooh. Is that straight or die? Not quite. Not yet. Uh speaking of dropping things, I don't care what you smell. And Lord Raven ninety nine drop in subscriptions. Uh, Lord Raven has subscribed for fifty months. Dion, whoa! Thank you so much. That means the world to us. Fifty months. That is yeah, crazy. You let us know, Lord Raven. What 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 have you been flying lately? You got a horse in this race? What well, ship you want to see win? Or maybe Lord. just a ship you want to see lose? You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I also want to give a shout out to Squadron M hit their 36 month anniversary today. Subscribed a little bit a little while ago. Got that uh, awesome Razor Crest boom boom uh celebration. And yeah, all because of an ion Ion crit. Isn't that crazy? That, yeah. Wow, it's winning games, wow. though. It's true. I've been saying it for a long, long time. Uh, crits are bad. And they were ruining all your game plans. Yeah, because Obi-Wan just, just 5Ks in that right. from his position, right? Mm -hmm. Like, not a big deal. Vader can't track him as good. Or just 5 forward bear roll. Just make sure Vader can't shoot a range one at you. Would have been easy. Now, not so much. Dark Wee Dark sliding wee. in. Wee! Wee! I don't know if that... I mean, that's gotta be how it's pronounced, right? I mean, I, yes. I've declared it. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Imperials are cleaning up here. Unfortunately, Nax a bit of our position, can two bank around the obstacle, grab the objective, hard turn in the following round. Uh, Plo Koon and Oddball are just in the teeth of this tie swarm. Contrail, not really in a great place to drop any proxy mines. Of course, has that uh, hard one, so he can keep in the fight, can follow these tie fighters. Mm -mm. Vizier's still only down to one health uh, and might be able to 3 4 it out of there. Do you guys, would you? I mean, you had to just run with Vizier. Yeah. Right? If, if you want if you wanted to actually survive, for sure, you got to get out of the way. Yeah. The, the, the Palpatine's too important. You're a four point ship. Uh, there's no reason to stick around at such low shooting initiative. Shout out to Belinda Moo dropping some subs. We got a little bit of a, of a train, a uh, sub train going. Uh, Dion with all these subs. 
Do you want to give us a tease of what uh, what prizes we have to give away? You don't yeah. have to show them, but yeah, of course, we, of course, we have describe them. So yeah, we have, like I said, we have three sets of those um, isoplane initiative tokens. We're going to be sending out. Okay, um, we also have three sets of the Galactic Championship planet pins that we're going to be giving away as well. A full set of five of the qualifier pl uh, planets. You don't get the Battle of Exegol one, but at least you get the qualifier ones, all right? We got a couple of mystery boxes. We got some dice. And we're also giving away our first pair of GSP uh, high top sneakers. We got a, a, a pair of, uh, of scum and villainy squadron. We call it Pursuit Squadron shoes. Um, I have the prototype with me. Of course, we'll get your size, whatever that is. But we got that. We got some Imperial credits we're giving away. And uh, not today, but tomorrow, we also have a couple of sh uh, painted ships that we're going we're gonna to be throwing up on the, uh, on the stretch goals as well. Should be cool, and I do. I do like have the pair of shoes like right here. I should wear them today. I'm gonna wear them today. I'm taking them. Here we got one pair. Got one pair. You gotta get one to stock, one to rock, my man. <laughs> Let's see. Are they good for sneaking? I mean, I think one of my favorite things about it is that they did like customize the box. They have like they printed our logo on the box for the shoes, which is awesome. What? Yeah. Fancy. Let's see. Let's see if I can I can pop up this camera in the corner here. So y'all can see. Bold Dark Storm also join in with their Prime subscription. Uh, we are doing great, Bold Dark Storm. How are you? If you, uh, other viewers, want to learn how you can get free Twitch subscriptions through your Amazon Prime, follow this link here. Real simple. Uh, just add it to your Twitch gaming profile. And you can get access to not only our emotes, but also our videos on demand. Watch the games that you missed this weekend. Watch our previous podcast uh, and even Wednesday night games before they hit the YouTubes. All right. Looks like all our players are ready to go. We're jumping into round four. Do we see another seven fleet gunner we weapons do. disable go down? Okay. Uh, uh oh, looks like there may be a little bit of a bump train here. Oh Ooh. no. So that one was enemy. The, uh. Did Wampa try to K turn? Uh, Wampa tried to 3K. That is correct. Oof. So stressed, no bump. Bazir <gasps> dies to the friendly bump. Oh! <laughs> All right, so got him. Something that Justin okay. couldn't do. Uh, he had asked for some help from Andre there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Finish him. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I can't do it. Uh, Shoko MN as well. Uh, getting on that Prime subscription. Thank you so much uh, for all the support this weekend. It's been a, a long event series culminating in this event. So appreciate everyone's support. Uh, unfortunately, Vizier ain't going to be supporting anybody any longer. Yeah. R.I.P. <laughs> <laughs> Not today. Uh, Jingo, Yellow Jinguist says, uh, I'm just going to jump out here and grab Ooh. this crate. It's crate time. Crate is crate in time. Yeah. It could create a problem. Oh, oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> I did show off in the corner the pair of shoes. People asking, do they come in multiple sizes? They do. They do. Uh, we're not going to be making these available for purchase, by the way. They are going to be prizes only. Uh, since this is the prototype one that we're going to be giving away here, uh, you know, that's cool. But uh, I got I got some ideas for uh, for Flight Club. We'll have some, like, customized... Uh, different pairs of shoes for for a couple of prizes for funsies. Should be good. 
Nack, uh, taking it slow, grabbing the crate. I uh, didn't think that these TIE fighters would come in <laughs> this hard. <laughs> I mean, they yeah, they were trying to maneuver around... Uh, where, uh, Oddball shouldn't be stressed, is, should he? Uh, I think that's Wampa's stress. Yeah, I don't think he's stressed. I don't think he's stressed either. Not to my knowledge. I think when Oddball... Uh, when Oddball uh, put a stress down, um, it ended up on Odd. Uh, when Wampa put the stress down and Vizier crashed into him, it moved the stress over to Oddball. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, <laughs> this stress that, is your stress now. I think. I think that is Buzz. Yeah, I think that was Wampa's. Yeah, he wasn't stressed because he he focused and then got barrel rolled and he yeah. didn't do the rotate thing. Yeah, so I don't know what I don't know what could have stressed him. I uh, does uh, go forward with that loose stabilizer and um. Uh, I think I would repair the loose stabilizer personally, but uh, you're fine. You got another hull right to yeah. You, to you, turn. You leave it. You leave it alone. You make sure you shoot this next turn before you go down, because you're gonna you're gonna end up getting shot anyway. Well, he, yeah, he's got that seventh fleet gunner up, so he wants to make sure he can help out, uh, whether it's Plo or Contrail. Uh, he's gonna uh, change. Contrail's gonna change the lock to Iden. Uh, man. Ooh, boost will get Plo out of that situation. I uh, do not want to be in front of Wampa like that. Yeah, don't. Engage Wampin' Time. Focus boost. Let's go. Uh, uh, could potentially do a block on Vader as well. Uh, get like a chain block so he will bump into uh, Oddball there. Ooh, but he's... No, he's touching Aiden. Range one of wow. Oddball. Oh, snap. Wow. So we'll still get his full... No, no, that's... uh. Only enemy. Yep. Uh, big shout out to the developers of Tabletop Simulator. They have put in on uh, these big only enemies or only friendlies. Yeah. Uh, notations when you bump it makes it so much easier to keep track of that interaction. Yeah. So rather, yeah, rather just, than just like staring and and hoping and guessing. Just get yeah, just assuming. Yeah, yeah it was very slight. I, it's hard to see, but there is uh, yeah, there is some a gap between Vader's nubs and on balls. Yeah, it's, you gotta uh, love the precision of tabletop simulator. Yeah. Because that would 100% have been a bump in real life. <laughs> well, since we're playing Salvage, there actually was a question that just came in the chat there. I saw it there, James. You want to just remind people, uh, even though our Reaper is gone, about what it's able to do? Uh, yeah, I would pull up the card on the overlay, but it is still the old version. Uh, so I'll just read it here. Uh, controlled ailerons. Before you reveal your dial, if you are not stressed, you may boost. Uh, a very similar wording to um, the uh, adaptive ailerons on the uh, strikers, where it says, uh, before you reveal your dial, if you're not stressed, you must boost. Mm -hmm. um, but that is not a boost action, and the scenario specifically calls out you may not perform barrel roll or boost action. So, because it's not an action, it's very similar to Naboo Anakin, where his bear roll is not an action. He can actually bear roll uh, with the crate, um, and so can these Reapers and Strikers. Anakin and Naboo, uh, yeah. that's a name we have not heard in a long time. <laughs> I know, I know. I need i need Marcel to start doing shenanigans again, that way I can play him again. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're going to see here Darth Vader at I-6, just... Wailing to Oddball with that range one attack. Going to take him off the board before he could engage that 7th Fleet Gunner attack. 
No seven fleet for you. I'm so still surprised Plo did not boost there. Yeah. Big mistake in my opinion, not to boost out of Wampa's Ark. I'll be uh would 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 be interested to know the, the reasoning behind that. He's got a force point. How many to Maybe he thought Maybe he didn't want to use the force point so he could pull the weapons disabled off of oddball if necessary. Yeah, I like that. That's about the only thing I can think of of why you'd would want to eat a four dice attack from Wampa. Risk and hope. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here's the roll. Trail mix, one of each. Can spin the lock. Can spin the lock for Besh, or can spin it to reroll two. I hate that decision. Uh, just take I'll, take I'll the waste. take the one take the take the one guarantee. <laughs> but dude, you got you got seventy five percent chance to do that same thing, rerolling two dice, but, and twenty five percent chance to get better. Or I could. All right, like well, that? <laughs> hindsight 2020. But anyway, it, 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 it depends how much you're shooting here. He did need the crit though uh, yeah. to pop off this crate. Uh, I believe. I could just Iden. Oh, it's just an Idenable. Wrecked. Gross. You uh, have fun. What <laughs> <laughs> fun? <laughs> fun time. I st I still think Iden should be before you roll defense dice. Having to make the call. Yeah, having to make a decision. Mm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> or, way, or maybe the... <laughs> like a, maybe like countdown to where like Aiden has to take a damage to do it or something. Anything. Uh, yeah, I am excited for Interceptor Aiden. That sounds pretty interesting. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll play with Interceptor Aiden and Countdown. We'll see how it goes. Uh, ooh, blow spin of the focus for three hits into Vader. Pop, pop, pop. Let's see how Vader responds. Uh, and as the elusive. Yep. Got not not a bullseye, though. Oh, no elusive. Uh, takes good spin two force here. Yeah, I'm going to have to drop double force. Yep. So only takes one. That could have been a lot worse. Uh, yeah, yeah, just, I, a, just I was, a shield upgrade. No big deal. I'm thinking he had elusive, but he went with the debris gambit. Uh, yeah, and that's that shield upgrade. Oh, uh, wait a second. In, he missed something, boys. There. Oh, no, no, no. Never mind. Never mind. Nope. Never mind. What never happened? Nope. What nothing. Happened? Nothing. I'm not going to admit what I mistaked. I fixed it in okay. my brain. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yeah, there's no hull upgrades here, Dion. No, it's not hull upgrades. There's shield upgrades. <laughs> there are shield upgrades all day. All day. <laughs> uh, we're going to talk about brilliant. You can't brilliant in somebody's bullseye. Yeah. Correct. As well. Is that what you're going to say, Dion? No, no, not at all. No, no, no not at all. Knows that. Everybody uh, yeah. knows that about brilliant. Yeah, of yeah. course. Everyone's read that card at least once. <laughs> <laughs> I'll read the parts I want, thank you. <laughs> I'll, I'll just stop reading after the good effects. Yeah. You know I, mean? uh, I think I saw... What, I think I can't remember where I saw this, but it was, uh, do I have to follow a law if I don't know it exists? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ign ignorance is not an exception to the laws. Yeah. It's like, yes. Uh, <laughs> if you don't know that you have, you can't kill people, uh, you still get in trouble for doing that thing. Ooh. Speaking of getting murdered, there it uh, is. Full blank out there from Knack. Even with the obstruction. Yeah. Uh, which this one is also obstructed in Bullseye. Uh, here we I don't go. We have any Bullseye effects here. Hit blank. No, no Try again, Knack. Oh. Nick Knack, Patty Whack. <laughs> Nothing. Blanks in a row. <laughs> All right, uh, just Justin. Justin has an easy out now. He's like, "Well, I mean, my dice, my dice, my, yeah, my dice, my dice, yeah, exactly." 
uh, right. Wampa. We'll see how Wampa fares here. Yeah, Wampa time for four dice. Uh, no mods, though. Uh, don't need them. Um... needs mods. <laughs> Okay, well, there he is. There's the natural squiggle. One, one paint on nine dice does not feel good to me, Will. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not great. Um, but uh, not out of it yet. Uh, to be honest with you, got got the palpa down, got the item charge spent. Right, those are the two main things when dealing with this style of list. Uh, now you can start popping TIE Fighters. Um, with the high, high initiative, you can start uh, eliminating them before they fire as well. Though, uh, you yeah. do have to uh, deal with Darth Vader at a certain point here. Uh, Vader is stressed here, so mm -hmm. could have mm -hmm. some luck in not having to deal with them. Um, well, because those blue maneuvers are uh, not great on the TIE X1. Yeah, but one of the, one of the of course the advantages here for those of you I saw asking in the chat, uh, three salvage points there for the yeah. Empire versus only two for Justin. So yeah, keeping all, keeping all pace. All the greats are picked up. Yep, it's three to two. Yeah, so not only is going to have to start eliminating ships, going to have to start knocking crates off as well. Uh, you you have two turns right now. You'll have three turns if you knock a crate off. Uh, but yeah, the um, the Empire here has set the timer down. Uh, yeah, I think Contrail has a really good... Starting this turn, uh, this upcoming turn, um, obviously not this system phase, but maybe the next has a really good opportunity to start using uh, uh, that back arc for those proximity mines mm -hmm. um, to start laying down some pizzas. Welcome to the pizza party. I brought pizza pizzas. <laughs> yeah, and I think that was actually a good choice by the TIE Fighters. To They, they did not take that contrail bait. They banked right oh, yeah. uh, in front of them. They did mm -hmm. not want to uh, get into a position where contrail could just fly over them, or they have to K-turn behind contrail. Yeah, they. Uh, I mean, to be fair, he, he hasn't put contrail out there. Uh, because to get some with, without any kind of shenanigans like with the tie fo bombers, mm -hmm. it, it's kind of difficult to put those proximity mines in good positions without putting mm -hmm. the ship itself in bad positions. If right. that makes sense, yeah. um, like Aemon Ay right. is able to do that with the with the three turns, but other ships have to follow the normal rules here, and uh, right. it is it is a little bit difficult to get those uh, lined up. Yeah, Contrail has to like fly past them most of the time yeah. either like boost past them uh like out of arc or just fly right uh over yeah. top of them with their maneuver like a five forward yeah and it essentially takes you out of the fight for that round um, yeah but doing auto damage could be especially if you it's like a, it's it, like if, an attack right yeah especially if it does roll well it's true. You can get up to uh, you get, one you hit and two crits. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You get a tie fighter. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think he's going to drop one uh, just because the, this may he only, he may only have two opportunities left to drop. Mm -hmm. That's right. So Contrail drops it like it's hot. Ooh, Wampa keeps the stress here. Uh, wants a piece of that neck as well. You want to keep that pressure on, right? Oh yeah, yeah. They've they've identified along with our chat. Uh, shout out to, uh, I think it was Gooser Drew calling it out here that knack is worth three points. So you can is if you can destroy knack and keep two of your crates, you can win this round. Mm -hmm. Shut it down. Uh, and that's what I think separates uh, the top tier competitive players um, from just uh, your, what I would call like the 66% club, you know, the people going yeah. uh, three and two in and a two. lot of tournaments, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, is that a constant reevaluation of your win condition. Every planning phase, 
uh, reevaluate, count the score again, and reevaluate what you can and cannot do to get the win. Uh, there's be a lot of times where you can assess the situation as, well, I need to score nine points, right? So, like, that, but how? in that situation, <laughs> yeah, how are you going to get up that nine points? Well, Baboot, I do not mean it as a <laughs> uh, personal attack. Uh, it's just uh, like that. It's uh, that 66%, uh, whatever that's two out of three or three out of five or whatever. I guess that's only 60%. But either way, uh, that's normally the the hump you have to get over to get into top cuts and stuff. Uh, first for time chopper call. evade. Oh. Really? Hmm. Uh, Will he yeah. try to throw it to somebody per chance? Can Can he reach? Is it, I guess it just has to be an arc, right? Uh, no, it's range zero to two for plausibility. Oh. I mean, yeah, that's neck is too uh, way too far away. That's, yeah, that's next, for next sure. Range three. Fear's going to clear his stress. He sets up a great K turn lane there. Could even possibly hard two next round if he wanted to. He's going to get a lock that says Darth Vader on him. <laughs> Vader. Uh, quick question answer to uh, to first time caller asking what tournament software are you using today? Uh, today, this is the uh, the swan song of TTT. This is the final use of it. We do uh, we are actually going to be hosting an event uh, probably in about a week or so uh, where we want to get get a, get as many people together as possible to um, stress test a new solution that we'll talk about here in a minute here we go first attack coming in hit crit from contrail at range one that jingoist does have a focus doesn't need it though oh, sorry that was Iden excuse me double evades Yeah, Contra ended up getting stressed there from the one bank, so it could not take the focus action. Uh, though, should it have a calculate, though? No, no. it did the one oh. bank and bumped. Bumped, yes. Fully execute on that uh, yeah. calculate droid. People forget that uh, it works on those one banks. Uh, if you dids, can time it out, right? Dids, oh yeah, it is pretty neat with the one bank, because it's usually uh, the last thing you want to be doing. Um Able to push through a damage after using that crack shot. All right. And that there was is. a wounded pilot, by the way. Wounded on Naiden. Yeah. She, unfortunately, she does not have the crate. This crate's on this Jinguist. Oh, oh, CLT. Oh, spring there. Oh, boy. Could be just a dead TIE fighter and not quite. Hit crit. Ooh. There's still a chance, Hit though. Uh, still, you're, you're saying there's a chance? We haven't even seen no direct hit. Direct! <laughs> Bam! Got him. Oh, my goodness. And just like that, we may be back in the game. Yeah. Uh, gets uh, two points there for the Jinguist. Prevents uh, the Empire from uh, from getting all three crates. And stops a shot on Knack. Yeah. Who can now right. shoot at Aiden. Yeah. Neat. Pop, pop. Let's go. Uh, yeah, keep that thing as far away from uh, Wampa as possible. Yeah, just make it so that they it's harder. Yeah, put it like I would put, put it like behind the cloud. The rock. Oh, there, yeah. yeah, there you go. Because all these, uh, because you want to pick it up with Plo Koon next round. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, wow, and a big two points. Uh, well, going over. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, yeah, you scored two points in one shot. What do you want from? Uh, well, you scored three technically with that crate. Um, yeah, it's like Ooh, it's like two two hits, hits here. Oh, okay. I was gonna say. I mean, there's a chance could oh, give you a, a five wow. point <laughs> right there. Yeah, yeah. Huge Not five point swing. Uh, technically six if he was able to get it. Uh, but not bad, Wampa. They have something to say about all these shenanigans who are going on over here. So, well, the yellow jingoist. All From right. Downtown. Uh, Plo did take that. Chopper evade. Yeah. You just going to control then, right? Oh, not going to matter mm -hmm. with the focus. 
Does oh, not matter. Yeah, no mods there. I uh, didn't pop the contraband. Didn't. Interesting. Well, I might have. I mean, what are you saving there. for? What are you saving for? A focus. For, uh, for, so you can uh, three bank next uh, turn. A rainy day. Here we go. Oh, rainy day. Wampa <laughs> about to try Wampa to bring time. a rainy day. Two Ooh, hits two and hits. a focus. Uh, not going to be able to do it with that evade. No. Just need more unlikely. Natural here. Unlikely. Ah. Okay. Uh, it's the. It's the. <laughs> it's the. Uh, ev Force and evade. No there problem. It is. Okay. Uh, it turns out that evade was a decent choice. Uh, focus would have done the same thing. Yep. Trying to take that uh, that guarantee. Guarantee. Yeah. Use your charges. That's two to two there. Um. It is no longer bleeding, uh, but that timer is set. Uh, uh, that's right. Yeah, it really needs yeah. to. Going to be up to 19 next round. So how can um, the Republic get up to 19 to counteract that? Time is taken away. So they shouldn't six? know the time. We do have it hidden here on the table. Yeah. If six, uh, you need that time is just under four minutes. Is that right? Yep. I mean, outside yeah. of getting Vader, I don't think you can get six points. Uh, you can get uh, five, maybe. Because, I mean, if you get Iden, that's... That's three. That's three. Three plus you two on your objectives yeah. is five. Uh, so you may need to say... Like, you may not You may not want to put that uh, proximity onto Vader. As, as nice as that would be, as cool as that would be... Uh, you may need to save it for no, Wampa. You, no, you got to do it uh, in case uh, you can get a crit. So you can drop the crate from Darth Vader. Oh, oh that's what stuff for the crits. Where's oh. Grudge? Where's Grudge oh, okay. when you need him for rerolls? I'm in. I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can put it. <laughs> right. It, it is, uh, I, I, I forget what it was, but I think it was like a cluster mine I was playing one time. And I moved a ship. It hit a cluster mine, dropped the crate, and I was like, well, I'm just gonna pick that right back up. Then. <laughs> <laughs> well, that that's awkward. <laughs> yeah, awkward. Uh, I don't care where you put that. I'm picking it back up. <laughs> right. He was like, "Oh, just so I, do I put that down?" I was like, "It doesn't matter. I'm gonna pick it right back up." So, <laughs> so we could see something similar happen if uh, if Vader just won forwards. Yeah, but most likely, that, you could yeah. just you could put it underneath of Contrail. It's, yeah, as um, close as far this... back as possible. That way, yeah, right. in, oh, the, in the event oh, you end up doing a tour faster. Uh, you, what do I want to say? Um, it, when you guys are placing your enemies dropped caches, jettisoned caches, uh, to uh -huh. be particular, uh, traditionally you put them behind those ships, right? They're yeah, in most you, situations. You're, you're either trying to put in a spot where they can't pick it up back to back on the following turn, or you're moving it into the path of a, of a ship that you have. <laughs> coming uh you know that, that can end up picking it up the following turn oh yeah uh but i mean if if he goes as far back as possible oh contra already has a crit contra already has a crit is that what you're saying yeah i was gonna say if so that's what uh i think gooser drew is mentioning that i didn't need <laughs> sorry I didn't use the hard one here to block Contrail, Ooh, and then yeah. could re-pick up that crate if necessary. Yeah, yeah that's a good point. Um, and I think Wampa is just basically has to two bank towards that uh, towards that bottom left objective, right? Uh, correct. Mm, yeah. Yeah, because you're getting rocked. You uh, you could hard two, I guess, right? Yeah, that's true. Follow, follow Contrail into. Yeah, Womp was at full health anyway, so whatever. Take it. Take a friendly bump. Who cares? I could do some self bumping, just hard one, and run into Plo. Parkas focus. Not if you drop that proxy right on top of Vader, though. Ill. Uh, detonate immediately, yeah, immediately once a ship is overlapping it. Yep. Pop, pop. 
I mean, if Vader wants to hit two proximity mines in one Ooh, turn, yeah. that's fine. Go ahead. Take your hard two to nope. the left. Listen, I enjoy <laughs> eating pizza. Works. I enjoy eating pizza. Right? And sometimes sometimes you need to eat two. Yeah, thank, thank you, James, by the way. I was just going to say something. Time is ticking here. We got to get moving. All right, immediately reaches for that proxy mine. Justin knows what's up. Let's see if it can put a crit through, or I mean, could just put a three damage invader and put a nasty crit on him as well. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Alas, he just loses one shield. Ah, uh, the two blanks. Yep, two eyes. Uh, two eyeballs, but either way, no damage. So uh. sad. There was a chance there. Not not a great one, but it would have really helped out in the in the score here to yeah. prevent that cash. Yeah, it could have given him some extra time because we would be tied if we were able to get uh, Aiden this turn. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <sighs> you know well, what I mean? It's getting close. It's getting close. These uh, These Republic ships are hanging in there as best they can. Had to fight through a vicious middle. Ooh, Aiden. Uh, we have not seen any disciplines go off uh, this game. Um, I, I think we could have, which is That's interesting. That's true. Don't forget your disciplines. So it's going to... Not calculate, not double calc. Gonna target lock, <laughs> lock and yeah, then lock. then boost. I assume. Uh, no, no boost that east. range. Oh, because the cash. Yeah, I was gonna say boost lock. Sad. Uh, yeah. Sayud. Uh, Nack also Lonkin. Lock's my favorite <laughs> action these days. Love to see him. Uh, these ships that are encouraged to do so. Oh no. Plo only tried the two straight and won't be able to reach that cash then. I think Vader's going to be out of range here this round. All right, we do see the time is up. Time is up. Go off. Uh, so what is the... Ooh, I'm going to spend the force to pass ooh. the token. Okay. So you got to risk that uh, Jingle was shot uh, to get uh, just two points from Wampa here. Is the five points going to be enough? Uh, yeah, he needs to get... Uh, as long as Contrail and Knack have their crates, that's going to be a tied game. We'll see how it works out. Got nothing here. Oh, uh, into nothing. Aiden uh, survives. I see that last plasma in the tubes. Uh, spin the focus. Yep. Oh, wow. It's going to come down to the range zero, just a single hit. Oh, 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 the wrong. <laughs> I, uh, man, the the wrong way for those green dice. Uh for uh, to to get to able to able to push some damage through here for for Justin. All right, well, I have one last shot into Plo Koon. I'm uh, not going to be able to take him off the board there. All right, uh, Aiden. Did Aiden shoot? Uh, yeah, yeah. I guess they could shoot into Plo Koon as well. Oh, yeah. Range three. I'm still not, still not going to be enough. 
Uh, out of force, so it takes a damage, but he's okay. Uh, can can Wampa with his two dice take a shot here at Knack? Uh, Knack only has two left. That crit. Okay, he gets safe. Okay, and then it'll be uh two to two. All right. Uh, oh, I will run some quick numbers. Just give me one moment. All right. Uh, we have 105 now. 105 players. Um. Thank you to ISO, Danko, Baffle, Trojan, Prophet, Shadow, Tycho, Spice, Raider, Lancer, Fallen. Row 6, 626, Chief, and J-List, our Grand Admiral Patrons. And all of our Gold Squadron patrons and community members, thank you for your support. Gold Squadron, out.